Hello, this is Mighty Owl. It's shopping time! You have $4.65 in your pocket, and you want to know which items you would be able to buy at the store. Well, let's take a look. When we compare numbers, we want to line them up vertically and look at the largest place value first. In this case, we would start by comparing the ones place. Let's compare the price of each item to the money in your pocket and see what we can afford to buy. Let's start with the box of candy. You have $4.65 and the candy costs $2.58. We're looking at the ones place. The four is greater than the two. Hey, that's all. We don't even have to look at the cents in the tenths and hundredths place because $4 is greater than $2. You can buy that candy if you want. But before you buy anything, let's make sure we look at everything. Now, let's look at the coloring book and crayons. They cost $4.89. Since both numbers have a four in the ones place, we're going to need to look at the next place value, the tenths. Okay, in your pocket there's a 6, but the coloring book has an 8. Uh-oh! This means that the coloring book costs more than you have, and sorry, you can't buy it. Moving on over to the toy helicopter. Cool! It costs $6.23. Well, let's start by looking at the ones place. The helicopter has a 6. Oh, 6 is greater than 4. Oh, so you can't afford to buy the toy helicopter. Too bad. Maybe next time. Now the final item we have is your favorite magazine that could be yours for just $4.61. Wait, do you have enough? Okay, let's look. Start with the ones place. Both numbers have a four. All right, looks like we need to move on over to the tenths. Huh, they both have a six. Okay, let's try the last place, the hundredths place. Five is greater than one? All right, you can afford the magazine. Looks like you have the option of purchasing the box of candy or your favorite magazine. Oh, but you can only choose one? Hey, that's a tough choice. Good luck with that one. You just compared decimals. Now let's take a closer look at what you just did. When comparing two whole numbers, you start with the highest place value and if the numbers are the same, you move on over to the smaller place value. When comparing 249 and 28 hundredths to 249 and 26 hundredths, we have to go all the way over to the hundredths place before we can determine which number is larger, since all the other place values have the same number. 249 and 28 hundredths is larger by two hundredths. All right, I think we're ready for some more practice. Problem one, which of the following comparisons are true? Write the correct comparison if needed. Yeah, true or false questions, my favorite. Which of the following comparisons are true? Correct the comparisons if needed. All right, we're gonna get started with part A. 5 and 67 hundredths is greater than 5 and 76 hundredths. Well, the ones are the same, so we look at the tenths. 6 is not greater than 7, so this is false. Uh-huh, and we're going to need to change the sign. 5 and 67 hundredths is less than 5 and 76 hundredths. All right, next up, part B. 3 and 40 hundredths is less than 3 and 4 tenths. The ones are the same, and so are the tenths. Um, yeah, one number has a zero in the hundredths, and the other does not. So this does not make it larger just because it has more digits. See, we can put a zero in the hundredth place to act like a placeholder. These numbers are the same. We need to replace the symbol with an equal sign. Well, that was tricky, but the tricky question couldn't fool us. Moving on to part C. Two holes plus nine tenths plus seven hundredths is greater than two holes plus nine tenths plus three hundredths. All right, the ones are both two, 
And when we look to the tenths place, we can see that they are both nine. So we're gonna have to now look at the hundredths place. Well, seven is greater than three, so two and ninety-seven hundredths is greater than two and ninety-three hundredths. Hey, this one's true. Cool. And last up is part D. Four and seventy-one hundredths is less than four and seventeen hundredths. Okay, once more the ones are both four, so let's move on over and look at the tenths place. Seven is not less than one. All right, this one's false. And we're gonna need to change the symbol to greater than since four and 71 hundredths is greater than four and 17 hundredths. Great job comparing decimals and fixing those mistakes. Now it's time to put some numbers in order. Problem two, order from least to greatest. Oh, I bet Will and his friends wanted to see who has the most amount of money in their pockets. And after counting, they have found that they had the following amounts. Will had $1.67, Sue $1.72, Mia $2.61, Jenny $1.76, and Eric $2.16. And now we are going to organize them from least to greatest. Let's use a number line to help us organize the values. Looking at the ones place, Will, Sue, and Jenny all have a one, while Mia and Eric have a two. All right, that's going to help. Since one is less than two, we're going to start with those values. Looking at the tenths place, Will has a six, while Sue and Jenny have seven. And since six is less than seven, Will has the least amount. Now to compare Sue and Jenny by looking at the hundredths place. Two is less than six, so Sue has less than Jenny. All right. We have our first three numbers ordered. Now let's compare Mia and Eric. Well, Mia has a six in the tenths place, and Eric has a one. And since six is greater than one, Mia has more than Eric. And we've got the whole order sorted out. $1.67, $1.72, $1.76, $2.16, and last but not least, $2.61. Fabulous work comparing decimals today. You were able to look at the tenths and hundredths place to compare values and order them.